Sorry, I'll fix it right now. Just trying to get a spot. Or I can see the chat. Oh. Hi, Princess. Hi, Carl. I think they're Carl. Stevie. Capatillos. Hi, Liberty Blair. Sorry for all the noise. It's all. That's why the. That's why the title, uh, Money. This is the Port of Los Angeles right here, look. Right here in Wilmington. This is where all the money's at, look. See all those containers? See all those containers over there? All that's full of shit that goes everywhere in the, to the US. I've seen the cranes moving. See these big, the big cranes that unload the ships? I've seen them moving around. God damn, that truck stunk. Oof. Ah. <clears throat> oh my God. with me guys I hope I, I sat on a low thing and then with my foot problem and all that I, I, I bear with me I just hope I don't fall live <laughs> there I got up Ooh, it was a close one Look at all this money moving in the world right here. All these trucks. Some of these trucks probably go near where you guys are at. Some of you guys are at. Because it all comes here, see? See all those? There's like hundreds of containers. Look at there's rows of them. See that shit? There's way more back there. All these right here in the front. Look at that. That's a gang of money right there. It's a realist. Look at all those containers. Look at it. They look like Lego blocks. And then over there, look. Over there, all the cranes are unloading ships. Those are all the cranes that unload ships. The water is right over there. Can you guys see the water? The ocean is right there too. See, see how these cranes are right here. See where these things are? The water is down there, so right down there. Ships, ships could pull up all the way into right here. Giant, giant, those big, big ass container ships. Sorry. That's what I don't get. Look at all this money here in my city. All this money that comes through my city. And my city is like shit. There's streets that they haven't fixed. I mean streets that haven't even been repaved since I can remember. Shitty as hell. There's places. There's there's spots where the not even the street sweepers passes by how the fuck can't the street sweeper pass by every fucking street and all this money right here billions could you just imagine how much how many billions right there look at all these containers and who knows what's inside them Not to be messed up, but fuck, maybe, I wonder how many of these 
I wonder how many of these they find with like uh, full of uh, full of Asian people that were trying to come from somewhere else from over there their, their country because there was a time where I, we would I would see them like when all this was all there wasn't park here or anything we would see a bunch of Asians coming like with cameras and shit just walking down the street like they came from the docks like they got off one of these boats the freeways that way the 110 is at the end of this what is this uh harry bridges yeah yeah this is harry bridges and i'm like standing right on like by bayview or baby used to be this used to be a this right here wasn't all here right here it was a crossing street right here where the sort of where these these lights are where that where that road goes into there was a street that came straight through right carl i seen that shit last time I seen uh, uh, they were off of Palos Verdes. A little boat came from like Mexico with a bunch of people. They got them though, the port, the, the Coast Guards, because there's Coast Guards all over right here. The Coast Guards got them before they, before they, like, out of, I don't know how many, like maybe two got away. But they had all of them up in PV. I think someone was trying to bring in a whole staff for their house, for their mansion up there in PV. So they, they were just gonna get the whole boat, the whole boatload of them, you know, gardeners, chefs, fucking maids, all that shit in one shot. It's noisy, I can't fucking see anymore either, man. The fucking sun. Oh my god. This is the park, see? It's all this, the park. All this was all businesses and shit like that. Like I got telling you guys. I remember when all when none of this was here. My friend clowns on me when I mentioned that shit. That I remember none of this was here. Because they're youngsters and they they don't know. They don't know that this wasn't here, what was here before. And I do. Like I said, I grew up here. I, I since 76, uh, since 1976, I've been in this town. They brought me home from Torrance, my parents. There's three bridges on this park. There's two going that way. And then the third one is right here. And all the bridges, there were streets. This is the only one that doesn't have a bridge right here where there was a street. Look at city workers. All oh, this is, no, I don't know. I don't know who that is. Stairs, my enemy. With my foot like this, the stairs are don't make fun of me. I can't see. Chat. Oh shit. Oh. See how I could barely come down these stairs and my stupid fucking doctor still fucking trying to tell. Still trying to say I can work. Look at these things. That's crazy. I don't know why they put these fucking rock things on the park but yeah man this is the park they built the port all that over there all that money over there and just built them this this park to the city they're making billions of dollars but they spend a few million on this park a few which is stupid
And it's just nothing but fucking, look, nothing but square ass fields of grass. Look, I told you guys, it's just blocks and blocks of grass. See, and over on the other side of that building, there's still another section, like another two blocks that way more of park. They did it for uh, the Hispanic community so they could come and play uh, soccer here. See, yesterday I was across the street over there. That's another park. That's the original park from this area. That park's been here way before me. Is that a dog? That's a dog. A little black dog. That used to be the Longshoreman Hall right there. Then they got their big ass fucking hall and they closed all these down. See the camera? Cam back, you guys see it? Where is it at? There it goes. See it? They got those all over the park. All over. They used to have, have cops on those, those uh, like the mall cop things. You know, the thing with the two big wheels? They used to have cops rolling around in those things when this park barely opened. When it first opened, they had cops like that. And, I mean, they were, they used to look at the videos. Now, I guess uh, it was just for show in the early years because now they they don't even look at the videos. I know for a fact because I done some shit in the parking lot that I could have been arrested for and they never fucking showed up. And I was right by the camera. That's why I was like, oh my God, when I seen the camera, I was like, uh oh, I'm going to jail. Nope. Nothing. a nice breeze Whew. yeah man but that was the fucking that's the port of Los Angeles what's up pink who did I miss pepperoni good to see you tapatillos joko cop watcher joko is that a uh, KS at Kansas City or no no uh, uh, what is KS for well, Joko KS, Cop Watch, what's up? How you doing? I'm not gonna try to guess and fuck it all up. My eyes ain't that great. What did Pink put? <laughs> New toes. Fuck it, Pink. I have a nephew that has autism. I have a nephew that has autism. And um, I shared a room with him for a while at my sister's house. All right, Johnson County, Kansas. All right, cool. Um, I shared a nephew. I shared a room with my nephew, and uh, he saw me with no like. He saw me with no shoes on and shit, no socks. And he was staring at my foot with no toes. And he said, "He said, are they gonna grow back?" <laughs> That's all of my wish. If I had my toes, I would have still been working. I would have still been doing Spider-Man shit on ladders at work. But I would have still been working for myself. What's up, 357? Biggies, biggies. Biggies, biggies. Netflix never want to give me a good video, man. They say they're trying to be all friendly and shit. D1. ¿Qué onda, mija? Hi, Heather Hope. The innocence of children, right, Heather? But see, my nephew has autism. He's... Well, he's, uh, he's 20 years old now, but... 
he has the mindset of a kid of a little kid I love him to death man my nephew yeah he's still a child Camped up caveman, how you doing? Yeah, just um Damn, it's crazy because I don't know if all of you guys know who I'm talking about. D1. I don't know if you guys know who. No, Margaret, you were you should you had to be here in the beginning. I was filming the port. I was recording the port. That's money right there, the port. Um. Another fucking piece of shit. Another piece of shit hiding in the auditing community. It's fucked up. I heard about when I heard about it, cause I mean, I I I chat. I I was sub to him. I chatted with him and chat every time he was there. He was cool, man. And then to hear this about him just fucking pisses me off. If you guys know who I'm talking about, man, unsub that piece of shit. D1 D1 If you know who um, If you know who Catch You Later is Catch You Later Was discovered to be Had been arrested in What was it Back uh, Like a decade or so I think He's a chomo He has a chomo record a really bad one too and he was hiding and and back when he got I guess when he got uh, convicted of it they didn't have the, the they didn't have the fucking um, the registry shit so he wasn't in the registry or nothing like that he wasn't supposed he wasn't uh, it wasn't mandatory or whatever in the area where he's at And he got he was getting away with it until his until his arrest last night. I guess someone I guess someone looked up his real name. George is here. Hey George, good to see you man. You too, Jeff. Margaret. Little Linda. Yeah man, so if you guys are sub if you guys are sub to catch you later. If you guys are sub to catch you later, unsub that piece of shit, man. Yeah, Pepperoni Audit, he's a YouTuber. He was arrested last night with uh, Ying Yang. Yep, tapatillos. My cousin, my my girl cousin, a girl cousin of mine, she just made it into the, she's a longing now. She's a longshoreman now. That's like, over here in the hood, that was like the, that was like the lottery job, man. But it's, all, it's always uh, who you know. Who did I just see come in? What's up, secret agent, man? Good morning. Is it still morning? I don't know, I... I wake up every morning now at, at 4.20 exactly, like an alarm clock. Then I knock out again and wake up at 6. Two pounds. 
sad the day I wake up at 420 and not have any weed to smoke I'll be like cry myself back to sleep <laughs> they said after the park closed after the park closed the gangsters that were chilling there the homies they still stood there till like 11 or more bumping the music loud I mean, all the live music and everything was shut down. Like everyone looked, like acted like they were leaving. Once the cops left, they turned on their car music, and they were they were there till late. I was laughing. Shot away like a rocket, man. What's up with that Car caramel frappe? What? Why? Why? You, a lot of people like that shit. I never tried it. I don't think I even want to try it. I don't know. I'm not like. No, I don't know. Probably because I'm a diabetic and I try to stay away from the sugary shit. And just by hearing caramel frappe sounds kind of sugary. Oh my god, I don't know what joint is all yet. instant joint roller or some shit like and I can't just like roll up on my weed and joint like you know and joints that, that shit dries up faster once you shred up the weed it dries up super fast and then it tastes like shit especially if you have just a bunch of joints rolled up if you don't smoke the joint within a, the first day that you rolled it it's gonna start it's gonna taste like stale and shit just red <coughs> see Yesterday, yesterday in the morning, ah, uh, what do Tabatio Chomo? He's from Florida. Oh, thank you, little Linda. And that I never really get it short. I, I like I like it a little bit longer, but I can't I can't afford to cut my hair too too often anymore. 
pink. You, you're like really, you're like super working on it, huh? Right, pink? You're like testing, testing the limit of, like how, how, how much can I get away with before I get banned? Right, Pink? <coughs> oh, fuck, I hate this cop. It is just out of nowhere. It just comes. I took a drink of the coffee and it, it made me start coughing. That fucking nasty ass McDonald's coffee. I don't know why I got McDonald's coffee. That shit's bitter as shit, man. I added three fucking sugars to that shit because I can't, I can't, I don't want to overdo it on sugar because I'm a diabetic. So I just put three and it tastes like I drank, it, it tastes like I, like, like I asked for it black. Like hard black. Like really hard black. What's up, Lulu, West West? Cool, 357, that shit's crazy. What's up? Is that the real none your business? Surprise you in here in any business? Yeah, I was just recording the fucking port. <laughs> no what? That's not the real one. That shit's funny every time I see it. <clears throat> Oops. I had fun yesterday. That homie that had the fucking... That had part to do with the organizing that shit in, at the park right here. Uh, that's crazy, man. I like, I feel good. I feel like, how do you say, I feel proud for homeboy, man. I feel proud for homeboy that he went from being a, back in the day, he was like, he was a dope man. He was the dope man in the hood. And now he organizes like events like this. I remember he stopped selling shit like that and went straight years back when, when we used to paint together. But, But fuck, to go from the dope man to organizing community events and with the police and everything, that's crazy. He's hes a, a good member of society here in our hood. And he's one of those I went to elementary school with. I went to school with him in elementary, junior high, high school, and then we even worked together. All right, none of your business. <laughs> One of the homies that was there did not recognize me. And I didn't want to walk up to him and be like, what's up? Left it like that.
they seen I was with my cousin. They know us. I, I, I have, I have my last name across my arm. They know my last name. Who's the fuck ain't gonna forget a last name like mine? Most people have never seen someone with that last name. I'm pretty sure if I ask all of you guys in this chat if you guys have seen someone with my last name before. I'm pretty sure. All right, on your business. Take care, man. I'm pretty sure none of you guys have ever seen a last name like mine in like in anyone outside of YouTube than me. Thank you, Jed. Hey, Jed. Oh, shit. Hey, Jed, what do you think of, uh, what do you think about that situation with the Catch You Later guy? No, hell no, 357. It's not from Venezuela, man. My parents are Mexican. How come what? How come? <laughs> I don't know, Steve. I don't know, Steve, man. But they, they have that shit. That fire lane is like double. Like if they're trying to bring the big giant truck here or some shit, I don't know. And they they're stupid because I don't I don't even know why they put those red fucking curves for the fire or whatever. If those fuckers park in the middle of the street, man, they don't give a shit. They'll just park it right there in the middle of the street. No one's getting by. They ain't gonna fucking park like to get out of the fucking public's way. They don't give a shit. Sorry, I put you guys down real quick. Uh, let me just roll this joint. Solid indica. Look at that shit. And look at the fucking... Is it focused? All right, Heather. I am secret agent, man. I am. Sorry. I am kind of slow at rolling. I kind of admire my buds. I don't know why. And then uh, I roll. Then I pick some and I roll some. I don't know my OCD. Does it pink? Fuck you, man the fuck shit we you wish you had this shit out there in fucking the middle of nowhere where the fuck you live <laughs> found the fucking woods where they raised you and shit <laughs> I'm just playing Pete and I don't even break it up with my hands I use a fucking grinder my trusty grinder I've had for a while. Where's the tips? Where's the tips? Gotta get the tip ready. Fuck you, pink man. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know good weed if it that shit fucking slapped you in the face, man. paper the paper the paper oh shit scissors I don't like scissors I'm not a, I'm not a fucking scissor guy I use a fucking trip out cause the, the the shredder I have 
is perfect. Like, you fill that up. You fill that up with buds. You fill that shredder up, and it's a perfect joint. So you always break up the right amount you need for a joint in that shredder. That's why I like it, and I always use that one. Almost done, almost done. Just got to lick it. All right, Tapatillos, thank you for being here, man. I really appreciate you being here, man. This, what's up, fucking ping? Shoot some. Or is it some shit fucking Keith? Some bullshit ass Keith. <clears throat> You have to have the uh, organic raws, man. They're even thinner than the regular raws. See that? Organic. I use nothing but raw. Right, Pink? I go raw on you. <laughs> I care, them. You wish, Pink. You buy 99 cent fucking papers that are like fucking notebook paper, huh? Thick as shit. White ass fuck. <laughs> oh my god, see? Perfect joy every time. Ah, uh, three, five, seven. You have kids to prove it. That was like, I don't know if you remember when I was. There was a while I would mess around and tell people. I would go to a chat. Yeah, ultra thins are okay. The uh, pink, but I don't know. I still like the raws better. I would go into chats where I had a wrench, and I would tell people, "Have you ever played a uh, oops?" Have you ever played oops? And it was, it was a thing I would do back in the day. I never really, I timed out maybe two people, three the most, but, but it was something I would do messing around and, and ask. One day I asked Dennis and Otter, I was messing with them to see what he would say. And then tell, <coughs> I tell Dennis and Otter, Dennis and Otter, have you ever played oops? He said, that's how I got my last kid. <laughs> I was dying, man. That was the best answer I ever heard. What the fuck, secret agent, man? Nah, I'm good. I'm good with Bible paper and all that, right? Nah. I, I, I would... I would rather instead of fucking smoking all that fucking paper. No, Stevie, I have this cough. It's one of my uh, one of my diabetic medicines. Gave me this cough. My sister has it. My dad has it. It's something, and one of the medications. It just gives you this cough for no fucking reason. And the doctors don't give a shit. You tell them. They, they gave me a fucking cough syrup, that permethazine, whatever, cough syrup. I don't want to be drunk. I quit drinking. I ain't trying to fucking be drunk. So, um... Fuck, I, I got lost. Oh my. No, I was gonna say. I'd rather do like back in high school days where you poke little holes in a fucking... You poke little holes in a fucking aluminum can and then just... Put your weed there like a pipe. 
I'd rather do that than smoke all that fucking paper. None of you guys ever did that shit with an aluminum can or, or an apple or something? Yeah, an apple, right? I'd rather do that than fucking smoke no notebook paper. Fuck all that. I knew this guy. I don't know if he was just paranoid, but it kind of made sense at the time. I don't know. Because we used to, it was when, when we used to smoke the orange zigzags, you know? No, that shit didn't say nothing about anything, you know, like thinner or anything like that. It was just the orange zigzags. And um, he would always... Oh, hell no, man. Rodolfo, no, not toilet paper. Um, He would always cut the strip of glue off. He said, I smoke about 20 joints a day. Look at all the glue I'm smoking. Yeah, I think he was just paranoid, because, I don't know, I don't think the fucking blue would fuck you up. Which one? Top? Top? That's for cigarettes, man. You mean my daddy? That's for cigarettes. It's different with weed. It's too too thick. Pink, I get it. In, I get it in prison, but we're not in prison. Why the fuck am I gonna roll that shit in fucking toilet paper around? I'm not in prison. I have the willpower to fucking wait. Eventually, I'll get a zag from someone, or uh, like I said, I'll just use a fucking aluminum can or something. But I ain't gonna. Fucking smoke fucking toilet paper. Matthew's in here? Hey Matthew. Sorry if I didn't say hi. Damn, Margaret. Margaret got jokes, huh? Margaret got jokes. <laughs> That's fucked up. No, I don't want to talk. I said, man, I should hit him up. See what he's up to. <clears throat> yeah, I'm surprised my cousin's not. Uh, my cousin's not watching. He's he's handling his business. I bet now. Damn, ping for real too. Two grams. Damn, secret agent, man. What, what you and Pink be doing in fucking prison? <laughs> I'll just fuck it around. <laughs> There, they know. Yes, it's weed. That's what it smells like. I just put my window down. <laughs> Damn. Thirty-five-seven. Yeah, they're nice, man. Margaret's gonna try to oop you. Seven. Now you know. You, now you know. You better look out when you go into Isaac's chat. Oh yeah, pink. I 
have what I showed you. That's what I got yesterday. <coughs> well, yeah, I was the same way, pink, when I had money. But I'm fucking broke, fool. I, I can't afford that. I used to buy an ounce every three days. On the exact third day of the fucking last time I bought an ounce, I was already buying another ounce. Every three days, and all by myself. I didn't smoke with anyone. I'd be smoking joints, joint after joint all day long, playing with my dogs, enjoying my backyard, all that shit, man. Fucking shooting lizards and shit off the wall with my BB gun. That shit was, they were good target practice, man. That was crazy. And one time I shot a, I shot a lizard, bam, and it didn't move or nothing. And I'm like, oh shit, I must have missed. And then I go, I get close and I look, and he was dead. He was just hanging on the wall, dead. I shot him through the underarm, and it came out through the top of his chest. <laughs> oh my god. Hi Miss uh, Miss B, how you doing? What the fuck did I just press? I did something, I don't know what I did. And uh, what the fuck did I do? I, I it said something on my screen. I was trying to grab my lighter and look at chat and look who that was because my eyes ain't that great. The scaredy cat. Who's the scaredy cat? What the fuck happened? What'd I do? What'd I do? Did I hide someone? Did I fucking hide someone? Come on, chat, talk to me. All 20 of you guys that are in here, tell me. If I, you guys are all... What the fuck? Really, Pink? Margaret, you, who are you hiding, man? Who did she hide? No, little Linda, I see you. What the fuck? Is that a different 357? Is that really 357? Why isn't he blue? What the fuck happened? I unmod him, how? Why the fuck isn't it letting me do shit? I'm tapping on the name. I'm tapping on the name and it doesn't fucking pop anything up. What's going on, man? You guys, you guys broke my shit? What the fuck? Who said that? Dan Rodolfo, what, what, what's up with that, man? What's going on? Who the fucking pink? Who the pink fucking hide?
What the fuck? I, I better stop pressing buttons. I better stop pressing shit. Oh shit, what do I do now? You got spanked? How? What the fuck? What's going on? Did I fix it or did I make it worse? Rodolfo, huh? What the fuck? That's that that one got caught me off guard. Rodolfo's always cool in chat. Why would he say that? Was he was he just kidding? Who was blue ten minutes ago? Did I hide him? Cause I was trying to fix that shit. I was trying to fix that. I don't know how I unmodded him. I'm telling you, my shit keeps moving all weird. <sighs> yeah, it's always Pink's fault. It's always Pink's fault. <coughs> hey, Pink. You still it? Oh, what's up, Lenny? Thank you for being here. Hey, hey Pink. You still didn't answer my question. How the fuck did you know? How the fuck did you know my ex-wife's name? And last name. I've never said it. It was just a question, Pink. You already done it, so what the fuck can I do about it? You know, I'm just asking. I'm curious to know. Pink. Never mind that. I'm talking to you. Fuck you, Pink. You don't know everything. <laughs> How the fuck do you figure that shit out? Especially the last name, because that shit ain't one to, like... It ain't one, like, a common-ass one that you just, like, randomly fucking picked and guessed. If Pink Talk was my ex-wife, I'll boot the fuck out of it. That taco right now. No, she's not pink. No, she's not pink. That fool hacked my shit. Rodolfo, it was three five seven. He said that or you said that? Which one of the two? I didn't hear. I, I just seen when you. I, I don't know if you were repeating what he had said. Pink. On the real though. How the fuck did you guess that? Who's that? Let me see. Hey, Bug Rower. Good to see you. Yeah, man, it, it, it was all jokes, man. Everyone here gets along just fine, man. Come on, man. The only one I ever, the only one I ever get complaints about is Pink, but. I have a whole fucking section dedicated to uh, pink complaints. Pink complaints. That's what it's called. 
press 2 for pink complaints. Beep. You know? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, fucking pink. <laughs> Fucking feet. I seen a weird black bug in my car earlier, and it 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 it, it was like it just disappeared. Like I don't know if it flew away or anything. That shit freaked me out. It, it was just weird. It looked kind of like a hornet looking, but black. I don't know, but it was smaller. It was just a weird, solid black bug. Like, black, black. It, it wasn't a fly. It was weird. It was bigger. Way bigger. <laughs> that shit took off like lightning speed. I, I just started moving my arms around and my face, like, around, like, thinking that shit was landing on me. It, nah, it was just like, I don't know, it was just weird. It kind of looked like a hornet, sort of, but it didn't have the, the little spiky things or like, like, I don't know. It was a weird looking black bug. That's all I know. i never seen it before. Yeah, Pink. I, I wouldn't be surprised, Pink, of... If I suppose live today and then you show up and you're not blue, just don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> ah man, that time Becky went live, man, I thought you were gonna be there, man. I was like, let's see if Pink fucking has the boss to show up, say some stupid shit. You are pink fuck. That's fucked up. You shouldn't have spammed that shit, man. What you do? Man, what did I tell you about bringing your fucking naked sex account into my chat? <coughs> I told you to leave that shit out of my chat, it's fucking pink. That's Pink's fucking, that's Pink, Pink's fucking business right there, Margaret. Pink's uh, owner and CEO of NakedSex.com. Who is that? What's up, 420?
damn good, Lenny. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just this cough I have. What the fuck? But if I say what? Huh? Did you guys catch my live? Most of you guys caught my live last night, right? The last one? With the cops? I still can't believe out of over a hundred fucking people that were here yesterday. I was the only one. One fucking person was the only one that said that didn't want to give his name. But they ID'd over a hundred fucking people in one shot. Alright, Carl. Carl, they, they identified... Over a hundred people, name, name, last name, and, and age. We were writing down before you got your meal. The girl was right in the front of the line. Before you got your plate, she wanted to know your name. No, Lenny, they they had a the cops at the cops actually cooked the. They had rice, beans, chicken, carne asada. There, there was some cops. It was like over half a million dollars worth of our tax money just grilling us up fucking and serving us food. It, it, they think it makes them look uh, human, but they're, they're getting paid to do it. All of those cops were on duty. That's why they had the uniform and their gun. They were working their in their official capacity, like they call it. I think that's a very steep bill for the taxpayers to pay. <laughs> right, Carl? Over a hundred, well over a hundred people, and then I. I went over and I asked the girl, hey, out of everyone here, was I the only one that, that said that to you? And she said, yep. I was like, what? Me? Yep. Wow. I just walked away. I didn't know what else to tell her. I couldn't believe all those people fucking gave their name. And then when I, then when I hit up the cop about it, she blamed the park. She said the park that all they asked was how many people they were feeding. And it's the park that supposedly decided, the park decided to fucking uh, ask for name and name and age. That's stupid. If they wanna know how many people they're feeding, they just count. The chick will be like, like one, of, one of those clicker things in her fucking hand. Every person that passed in front of her, she would click it. They click, 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 just to count how many people. If that's really what they want to know. But why name and age? Name, last name, and age. Why? Other than to fucking ID you. Like uh, Graham was saying. Graham was like, there's a bus. He's like, there's probably a bus around the corner. With so, with the with shiny bracelets for the lucky winners from all the names they're running. While you're eating your fucking carne asada, they're running your fucking name. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh.
right, Lenny? So she, she, she gave me that bullshit excuse. Oh, we have to count people. So, like, she was like, she wanted me to say a name. I told her, put me down as a good citizen. Hey, 357, that's the first time I ever had pork grill my beef. You know what I mean? The grill man were, the grill man were cops. That's what I'm saying. We had we had half a million dollars, over half a million dollars of fucking law enforcement enjoying like a party like that they had at the park. And they were just grilling, serving plates, you know. One chick, one cop chick didn't like, I don't know, she stood away from me, but her, she was chopping up everything they handed her. Like all the chicken, all the meat got chopped off and they would just give you like a chunk on your plate. I put up the little short video of it because I was trying to eat. I, was, I didn't want to go live while I was eating. So I just did a little short. 35 th thumbs up. Thank you guys, man. Damn, I can't believe I'm... I've been ranting for over an hour. Exactly, right, Carl? Exactly. Take it. That's what I try to get my point. And when I asked the cop lady, she's like, did I ask you for ID? I was like, what the fuck? She changed. She was all happy, smiley, trying to like, she, she was she was iffy about the camera because she said, are you recording me? I was like, yes. And then she said, uh, she was like, she, she didn't know if she could answer the question I was gonna ask, you know? So she was like, you know, go ahead and ask, but I don't know if I could answer. And um, when I told her that that was a Fourth Amendment violation, what they were doing, asking for fucking name, ID, and everyone that got a fucking free meal, she said, did I ask you for ID? I'm like, no, no, that's not what I said. And she said, we just want to know how many people they, they feed. We just want to know how many people they feed, something like that, she said. And, uh, and they're the ones that, the park's the one that asks for names. Oh my god, big big boy, don't say that shit, man. That shit was some good ass, whatever it was. Fuck it, whatever it was, they got me hooked. I'll come by again to the next fucking disposal of that body. <laughs> the next body disposal. But yeah, she, she got defensive. As soon as I told her about Fourth Amendment violation, she, like that. She went back to police mode. I bet, I bet if I was to, I bet if I was to have asked the park first, the girl, but she was uncomfortable around me. The girl, I told her I didn't want ID. She, I didn't know she was part of the park. I bet if I was to I have asked her on the side first whose idea was it for the names, I bet she would have told me. The cops told us to get names and fucking... I bet she would have said it. But I, I fucked up and I asked the cop because I thought it was all the cops' idea. Like, So she was able to deny it. And give her probable cause to, 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 to fix her story with the park people. Conspire, or what is it called? Conspire, or... Conspire against we the people. See this park right here, man. We used to play baseball right there. Yesterday, the guy I saw, man, some of the guys I saw, it was... I don't know. I stay home, I, you know... I stay away because it's hot. I stay away from everyone because it's hot. I don't want to get shot here. But right now I have no choice to be in the street. 
but to be in the street and again and uh i'm running into homies again man I just, I don't know. You have 420 tyrants. Okay. <laughs> they were trying to look like, they were trying to look like they were there, like, man, like I wasn't recording the whole time, but where I was sitting with my cousin, there was some lady like behind me and she was saying how, how nice that cop was and all this shit and he was he was like super friendly but he was a piece of shit he parked his fucking car right in the middle of the field of the grass field like what the fuck fool you feel like a king you couldn't have parked it off to the side where nah right in the middle of the fucking grass field like why why the fuck would you park your car right in the fucking right in the middle like you're the king like it's your house that's that cop thing man it has to be that cop thing. Is anyone in their right mind would just park off to the side out of the way? <clears throat> there was people that were looking at me and they would stop and go around me. Like they knew I was recording. They stood off they stood out of the they were smart. They said nothing, but I don't want to be in your fucking, I don't want to be in your video or nothing. Nope. They just shut the fuck up and went around me. That's hood right there. They know what's up. And it's not like I was going to be rude to anyone that didn't. I was pointing at the ground most of the time. Like I said, even with my homies, I didn't, I didn't want to put them out there. I don't want to put any of my homies out there, you know, I don't, I don't know what situation they're in or anything like that to someone to find them. <laughs> what happened? What did Carl say? I have no idea, Carl. I didn't ask that. They had a food license. But they had live music and they were cooking the food. They brought the biggest gas guzzler they could find at the police station to... I don't know what the fuck they got out of that thing. I don't know why they brought that big-ass fucking mobile command shit other than to show it off because everything came from, from inside the park, inside the this thing right here, the Wilhelm, the fucking... Uh, the little park thing. Everything came out from in there. All everything they used came out from in there. Lori's in here. Hi, Lori Croft. Thank you for being here. Big boy. I would have got lynched by my own hood if I would say some shit like that, trying to get that shit shut down. All these people are getting brainwashed by the cops. It's cool. Let them. Sometimes we have to sacrifice a few sheep. <laughs> My bad. I shouldn't have said it like that. It's not a war. <sighs> but yeah. I don't know why my fucking chat is sometimes super slow. <clears throat> yeah, big boy, but we even gonna sacrifice like I know what they say about bootlickers or nothing, but I wouldn't sacrifice no fucking nobody for the cops, you know what I mean? Fuck the cops. Bootlickers, all, all you need to do is wait. Have patience with the bootlickers because eventually they're going to get fucked with and they're going to see our point.
bootleggers of the kind that have never been fucking fucked with by the cops. Ever. And us, like us, that live in this area, like me. We got beat up by the cops, man. Harassed. Since I can remember as a kid, they would show up and try to harass our, my, my parents and shit like that. My my uncles and... We were taught they were not to be trusted as kids because of the shit they did. I remember one time one barged in the house and lifted my grandma's shirt because he thought she ran in with a gun. Nope. That, it wasn't even... I mean, who knows what the report was. I, I was a kid. But he just ran in, barged in. Choked and punched. All right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but see, I don't mean it like by race. I mean it by, I mean it by where you grow up, hood wise. Some of them bootlickers are like grow up in nice little areas, you know, where they need, they don't see none of that shit. Like my, my nephews, my cousins, my cousins' kids, they, they, they were here at the park yesterday and they were just, they just showed up and threw their shit all over the place and were playing, running around like, and I told them, look, we in the hood now. You don't take care of your shit right here, it's going to walk away. Some other kid's going to pick it up and walk away and you're not even going to notice. And they, they don't understand. They're from Kansas. They don't understand. Other than Kansas, they could leave that shit outside and no one will even fucking, no one will even fuck with it. I guess that's how it is over there. I don't know. That's what I'm, I'm assuming because that's how his kids are. And then the older of the two, my two nephews, is a white kid. Why? Everything you talk, why? Why? That shit. Oh my god. Sometimes it's the why is irritating, but so we gotta have patience with these kids. Why? I don't know. No, I'm just like. <laughs> Nothing but whys and I don't know. Or uh, the famous because. Because is not an answer. Because is like the be the beginning of an answer. Because then you follow up with the fucking answer, right? That's what I was trying to explain to his oldest son. Because is not just that's you don't just cut it off right there. Just oh because oh right. oh because okay no. I might be behind on the chat, I don't know, but that's that's as far as it goes. I'm trying to scroll to like the most recent one and it's like the most recent one I see is uh, Carl telling saying hey McDonald. Now McDonald's saying it back. So, don't think I'm, uh, easy.
Port of Los Angeles. Top of that building over there is not it's not part of this building down here. There's still a street crossing and then over there this is the building that has the roof. People come and walk at the park all day. I'm up to time, cold. This time I put it in a live chat instead of a I always forgot. I didn't know I had to change it on the. On, even when I'm the one recording, I didn't know I had to change that shit about the the, the live or live or top. Not bad. I'm moving the camera around a lot. Let's just toss it on here. Let's see if. See if someone takes that stop like they normally do. You should have seen my niece almost got hit by the cop right there. The cop took the red, took the stop sign, and turned in front of her when she was already there when he pulled up. He didn't even give her a chance. Like she had just took her. She said she had just took her foot off the fucking brake. going from here from, from he was going to over there to the corner and she was coming from over there this way and she said he was about to hit her am I shaking I feel my hand shaking yeah what the fuck, I eat breakfast, why am I shaking? I normally shake it like when it's a sugar thing, but I ate, I ate breakfast. Now? These are people on the sidewalk to my right and on my left. On my left side mirror, I could see them. My mirrors are all pointed in different directions because nighttime driving they blast you in the fucking face with the lights but all day these city workers are up and down they even ride on the sidewalk they even drive on the sidewalk right here like they can't get off and drive down the street. The street is just, it's a straight a, straight ahead. No, they, they drive on the sidewalk. Like, like idiot, I don't know why. I don't know why. Sometimes they're rolling like three, four trucks on the sidewalk. Still have some coffee. Mm. 
They don't. They drive on the fucking, right on the sidewalk, fucking city workers. Like, man, I wish I had the job of the guy that, well, not really sometimes the way the restroom looks, but. <coughs> the guy that pulls up in a little, like, little, like, ATV cart. Pulls up, <coughs> fuck, cleans the restrooms, empties out all the trash cans on the park, and that's his job. That would be cool. City worker job, it pays good. But fuck that, I seen the mess in the men's restroom. It's horrible, man. Horrible. I would have to wear a fucking hazmat suit if I was gonna clean that shit. That McDonald's coffee making me cough. I said the McDonald's coffee, you know, like the McDonald's where you buy the burgers and all that. <coughs> that coffee. <coughs> Here, I, I've been coughing. Like I was cool, and then I took a hit. I took a drink of that fucking coffee. With me, it was this coffee. I took a little, like, I don't I still have some in the cup. So I took a, I took a sip, and it fucked me up. It made me cough. There's a fat dude with a fucking rolls on his neck and shit. <laughs> That's funny, McDonald. You think so, 420? Trip out, man. I don't know, but anywhere else, four creams and four creams and three sugars is plenty. And I don't know, right there, I asked for four creams and three sugars, and that shit still tastes like it's black. But on that, like, you know, like when they overdo it with, I don't know, I don't know, a strong brew, black, like really heavy, like bitter kind of, I don't know. That's how it tastes. It wasn't very enjoyable coffee. That's all I'm trying to say. I like it strong too, Carl, but this was like a, I don't know, it leaves a bitter aftertaste. I usually like Italian coffees, and this this is like probably like their fucking breakfast blend. And I think that she needed like another fucking six bags of fucking coffee in it to make it. Tastes halfway decent. Because when I get the flavored creamer, when I was at home and I would do the flavored creamer, the synthetic coffee, what the fuck? When I would do the flavored creamer, I just put like a few drops into the fucking coffee and it was enough. It. it, it it tasted, it tasted good. And now this shit is like, ugh. 
where I usually go get it is way better, and and that's they don't even ask me. They just uh, they just say uh, cream and sugar. Yep, and they add it themselves. The little Asian or uh, I don't know where they're from, Korean, Asian, somewhere out there. I don't know where they're from. Those ladies hook it up. They guys talk, cup of coffee, hot, sometimes burnt, but fuck it. Way better than the McDonald's coffee. I don't even know how much McDonald's coffee costs. It was in the combo. I got me one of those fucking breakfast sandwiches. For real, for Tony? A lot of five bucks for a cup of coffee. <laughs> That's funny, McDonald. Because over there they have a restroom too. A park restroom. And if you have to use it, if you have to use it, you have to go ask them if they could open it. It sucks. But they do it like that because they want to keep these fucking. They want to keep the idiots from this other park over here that, co that go and hang out in the restroom and uh, make messes and shit. The ones I've been telling you guys about. I like Italian coffee. I forgot the name of that bag I used to buy. It's been so damn long. It was a bold but chocolatey taste in coffee. It's an Italian fucking, uh, fuck, I forgot the name of that coffee. It was 10 bucks a little ass bag. It reminded me of fucking jail. We'll see it in a few more days or tomorrow or or the next day to see if it improves or it doesn't look as dark as the, the first time they done it to me. The first time they done it to me it was black. This time it looks kinda pinkish. So I don't know. I think my eyeball's getting used to getting poked in the eye or some shit, I don't know. Probably going to the old people's place where I buy where I used to live. There was always fucking ambulance there. It's sad, but it's part of life. Old people, when you put a bunch of old people together, there's always a, something happening where the ambulance is there. Right, Carl? Yeah, Lori, it does. 
that's how I see it that better than the last time. The last time, I mean, half my eye was red. I didn't shit. One time I got into some shit and I got hit. My whole eyeball was black. Like, you couldn't tell where my, uh, what is it called? Where the retina is, it was all black. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was, Carl. But it looks like it spread on. Huh? And it just, the, the part that spread doesn't look as dark. That's, that's the good thing. Iris, there you go. The iris, you couldn't even see it because everything was black all around it. Like when I got hit that time, my eyeball was completely blood, like black blood. I took a hard one that day. I remember at Food for Less, I got fucking, got hit with a metal pipe right in the back of my head, the top, like a downward Hit, hit me with a metal pipe like a, it was a seat post for a bike in San Bernardino I got hit with the baton you know those ones that pop out like uh, extension baton that the cops use I got hit with one of those on the side of my head I've had a few concussions look at that white car driving on top of the park and shit I had a few concussions but I'm good. Pink hasn't had it. I don't think. I don't know. I can't say. Pink. Stop bringing that fucking account here, man. Pink. What the fuck, Pink? I know that's your business, but. Come on, Pink. Don't do that shit to me, man. Come on. Thank you, Matthew. The horse meat. Pink, we all know that's your company, man. Founder and CEO. And proud user of naked fucking bots or whatever. Oh, pink? I know I seen the notification of your video, but you could have still just jumped right on your account just like you do to fucking find out my ex-wife's name and fucking my address and all that shit that's how good you are man you got like fucking five six screens in front of you pink I know you got like five screens in front of you Fuck you, pig. No, she's not. How the fuck are you gonna tell me that? Is Elizabeth her first name or her middle name? Answer me that one. Pointing down, I was reading, I was stuck on the chat. Um, that 
that boat actually crept up on me a little bit more. Paint. 50-50, what's 50-50? He's looking it up. That's why he answered that. He hasn't answered my question because he's like fucking Google searching right now. Trying to get some info to fucking lie to me and fuck with me more in my head, huh? I only use my real name, Angel Duh, huh? How hard is it to look someone up by their real name? since early as hell. For real, Lori? I don't call... I don't call any of my kids by their middle name. They all have middle names. I think that's a new thing. I, I, I guess it was a... I don't have a middle name. My daughter asked me why I didn't have a middle name once when she was when she was small. She was a baby. My daughter asked. What was that oh, my daughter asked why I didn't have a middle name. No, 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 that's not my middle name. I don't have one. I told her um, that I was so bro that we were so poor that fucking I only have one name. Right, Matthew? What you do, Matthew? She didn't want you to find her for shit, like witness relocation or Matthew relocation program. She got a new social security number and everything, huh? I bet they rechanged her name again once you found that when when you found out her new name. You, you're not stalking her, are you, Matthew? That's how you found out. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm fucking around, man. <laughs> yeah, that's like I can I I consider myself giving both my exes a pretty good life and a pretty good um, they were rewarded after, even though you know like they left me but why do they fucking hate me 
I did nothing evil. I did nothing fucking evil to them, like what was going on in my head to do to them. And they act like I was the worst thing that ever happened to their lives. How is that possible? Like my first wife. Oh shit, I forgot about the fucking window. Sorry. Like my first wife fucking, uh, she got, she got what, what's most precious to me in this world. All to herself. Took that from me. How the fuck can she act civil, like, how can she, how can she act civil with me? What the fuck, Matthew? I guess after every divorce, she changes her name? Well, that's what happened with my first. The second one? My house, man. How the fuck she gonna just rob me like that from my house, man? What kind of cold-hearted shit? I didn't do shit to her. Part of our agreement was we separate and I was willing to, if we didn't, we couldn't work it out, we were gonna sell, sell the house, and, you know, share, share the money so she could get her own place and I could get my own place. You know what I mean? But I, I had told her I was gonna get most of the money because she paid not one cent for the house. She hadn't paid one fucking cent. Chuck Bronson, what's up? Me neither, Pink. If I would have burned the house down, I would have gone to jail. Which, fuck, wouldn't have made a difference, right? But I mean, uh, I'm not that kind of a person. I, I can't do that. Because I wouldn't be able to live with myself if if one of her kids would have got hurt over that shit, you know? <clears throat> so what's up, Chuck? Hey, Chuck, I was fucking... You should have seen my live yesterday, Chuck. I was licking boots like... Like Chuck Bronson taught me to. I was having a barbecue with cops, Chuck, on my last live last night. Yeah, Chuck. You showed me the way, Chuck. You showed me. I couldn't believe I ate some fucking, I couldn't believe I ate, I ate steak grilled up by fucking cops. Cause like the beans and the rice, they ordered them from a local spot right here. Someone paid for it. It's nasty check. It was good, it was good. The meat was good. And then the, the, what are the lady cops chopped it up in pieces too for me. You believe that shit, Chuck? They were handing out free food right here. The cops grilling up meat, chicken, like the community chipped in and, and uh, the cops chipped in and did it. But I think, I don't know. I think the community paid more than the cops. Because there was at least 10 fucking cops here all on the dime. Whose number, Chuck? The cop? No. She didn't want to get near me because I was recording. She was avoiding me. Like, even eye contact. Like, she would walk away. Check out my video, Chuck. 
they were they were giving free food and IDing everybody that was getting free plates of food. Out of over a hundred people, I was the only one that didn't ID. I have I have that girl saying, I asked her. Fuck, Chuck, that was the best ride I ever ate. I don't know. I, I guess I guess I could eat Chinese food, right? But yeah, they were getting everyone's name and age on a piece of paper. Supposedly they were just counting. Supposedly they were just counting how many people they fed. Oh shit, imported Chuck? It was it, was, it uh, straight New York rat? I heard that's the best. They're like, they have more nutrition out there. They're better fed. But yeah, man, they were IDing everybody. Every person and kid. Even the little kids. Right? And then there was one big old white cop walking around looking all paranoid like he was scared to be around all these Latinos. Like fucking beaners. The fuck? And he parked somewhere over here like way far away from everyone. Watching officer safety bullshit for his back, for like backup for his fucking, but he didn't want to be in the crowd. He was scared. I should have, huh? No, I didn't. I didn't even talk to him. He almost walked into me and, and like, freaked out. He's walking around staring at people and then he almost walks into me and then he fucking freaks out. Then he goes to his car and parks around the corner over here away from everyone. I mean, there was over a hundred people there. I went to a barber shop yesterday. They still mandatory mask while you sit and wait. You could take off your mask while they're cutting your hair, but while you sit and wait, you have to. I was like, how is that possible? I, what about the exemption? The exemptions, you know, like the people that can't wear a mask. Oh, they have to show proof. I'm like, I never heard that before in my life. That's like a HIPAA thing, right? That you ask them, you ask people to show proof of their fucking, of their illness, so so the no mask could apply to them. I I thought it was weird that they said that to when they said that to me. I was like, no way. Damn, P. Really? You're not shot like that over a hundred people watching? You're just gonna drop a deuce right there on the fucking beans. <clears throat> you savage. You savage, fucking pink. You savage if you do shit like that. Don't say that shit. Hey, pink. The food? was brought by the community together. The only thing the cops did was cook it up. And it was done right in the open in front of everyone. I seen people show up with the bags of the food. All the cops did was bring that big ass fucking gas guzzler mobile command center to park in the fucking way and then all their pig buddies showed up and that was it. And each one in a car.
Right, Graham? I think so too, Graham. You think so, Chuck? I I don't know how it is. I never looked up those mobile command things, but I think there's cameras on that thing, right? And they were just like recording everything and everyone that was around the fucking... Because they set up... They set up their shit right next to that mobile command thing. Like, it, it caught every single person that was in line, I think. So they just gotta go back and put the name with the face and line them all up, right? That's how I think it was. It was. That's why I stayed in the back. One cop kind of looked at me weird because I was behind them. But I was behind them for like over fucking half an hour and they didn't even notice I was behind them. No, you think so, Chuck? They could pick that up? I asked the lady cop if I could ask her a question, Chuck, and she said, uh, are you recording me? And then she's like, she didn't want to answer if she could, if, if I could ask a question. She didn't want to answer the question or even, like, answer if she could. And that's when I asked her about the Fourth Amendment violation they were doing by asking everyone's name. And that's right when I said that, Chuck, she fucking, she said, I never asked you for ID. And she, she started like, she started, uh, how do they say, uh, resisting. <laughs> she began her resisting. They don't want to talk to me. Hi, you broccoli. <laughs> Eat your broccoli. You think so? <laughs> I thought I was. I'm t I was telling people. I was telling people I'm scared to to try it a third time. Because see, the first my first wife took my kids. My second wife took money and house. Third wife, all I got left is my balls. I don't want to lose those. Ouch! No. Right, Chuck? Stop resisting. She did. She started... She got defensive when I mentioned for the Fourth Amendment. Because she tried to say that all they, all they needed was a count of how many people they were feeding. So why the fuck ask for names and ages? I bet she would, Chuck. But I'd die, probably die with a smile. Righty, would it be worth the ride losing my nuts? Definitely, right? <laughs> right, Junior, that's what I think. Right, Graham? That bitch straight lied to me when I... I shouldn't have mentioned the Fourth Amendment until after, huh? I should have just been like... Oh, you guys are getting... Uh, people's names and stuff. Like, you know, like, play stupid, huh? But I don't know how to play stupid. I don't know how to play stupid. That's why I got divorced twice. <laughs> oh, man. Hell no, P. Are you trying to volunteer or what? I think that was a proposal from Pink. They want to know. They wanted to know names of the people they they contacted. They they made contact with with COVID to see how far it spreads, how fast it spreads, right? In this area, you think they would do some shit like that? I wouldn't put it past them. I think I slept crooked again last night. I'm gonna have to have my ne my nephew crack my neck again.
Who she talking about, Lenny? Lenny, come on, man. Hook Pink up with the number, man. Pink loves that. That's Pink's. Pink wants one of those to retire with, man. Right? Right, Graham? I'm surprised they didn't have like a... Damn, pink again? You think so, Junior? Fuck. Damn, eat. Hey, eat your broccoli. Pink is uh, president and CEO of, of those of the naked bots that keep popping up. Those are his advertisings. I found out. I found out. That's why he knows so much shit. Cause he's everywhere. He's porn. Anyone with the fucking porn website can access everyone, everyone in the world's fucking computer because at one point everyone has seen some porn on their fucking shit, man. Fuck you, Pete. Call her. Call her. Tell her let me talk to my daughter. My sons. Tell her when am I going to be able to see them? It's been fucking five years going on fucking six. Tell her, Pink. If you if you do if you do get any kind of communication with her, tell her that pink. Tell her she moved on. She she remarried, has another kid. She moved on. It's cool. I never fought for her. I never tried to fucking ask her back. Tell her that shit, pink. She knows that. Just let me see my kids. The fuck? How is it their fault? They love me. Cause I'm not a fucking bad guy. They love me. They know the love I have for my kids. So if you if you can't pink, tell her that shit. And if you're not related to her and you're the, the new guy fucking her, uh, good luck, dude. She's fucking crazy. She got a few screws loose. I tried to fucking bang him in place, but I guess it didn't work. 13 years didn't. I couldn't put him in place. <laughs> God knows I tried. She is, Pink. She's straight crazy and certified crazy. There's paperwork proof craziness. Ask her therapist. That's why she gets fucking uh, social security and shit. Because she's cuckoo bonkers. But they don't come with no labels, man. You know how like the nutrition facts? They should come with that nutrition facts like so you can see how many uh what's the level of bipolar in each woman. That way you, you make the decision of you wanna go that route or not. But they don't do that. But yeah, the woman has the right to decide uh what length of meat she wants for her fucking diet, huh? It's always safe, Margaret. What are you talking about? Is that realist? Oh shit, that was in love. Let me see what the fuck just happened. Oh shit. <sighs> Turn on my car, my battery's low. It's always safe, Margaret.
especially you got a wrench. You got a wrench to defend yourself. I know most of everybody does, but. What the fuck's that? That's a woodpecker. What the fuck is it? What's up, Drizzy? That's how Graham is. Where are the fucking crows, man? They said my nephew found the fucking horseshoe at the horseshoe place right there. Even though the, right there where people play horseshoes, he found one pair, like, bear, like, almost bury, like, it's been there for a while. So that's what happened, Pink. That's why you lost half of it. And you smashed half of it off. Is that what you're trying to say? You're trying to make an excuse for your little Peter? Oh, shit. been alive this long. Holy shit. Well, thank you guys man. All of them, all of you guys. All 38 thumbs up. Thank you guys. 38 people came in. Thank you. I appreciate you guys spending a little time with me. Huh? If not, I'd be all by myself. That's why, like yesterday, my cousin said, uh, let me know if you get tired of me. And I was like, what the fuck? Why would I say something? Yeah, Margaret. My cousin tried to tell me, let me know when you get tired of me. And I told him, he's been in Kansas seven years. And in those seven years, I've seen him. This is the second time he's came around. Why the fuck would I tell him, you know, you, I'm tired of you, get the fuck out of here. Why would I do that? And then his son. I had never met his son and he's already like fucking. What do you say? Like seven or no, he's like four or something. The other one was a uh, nine. The nine year old is the one I, I, I remember him when he was here. But the other one was born out there and I had never met him. In Kansas. I made, I was making Kansas jokes yesterday and he was like... He was like, people always think barns and shit when they think of Kansas. I live in the city. It's not a big ass city, but it, I, he's like, it's a like the city. I'm like, what? We used to call him uh, Dorothy when he first moved out there. Oh, 
It's a two door four wheel car. As the Wizard of Oz, what I got lost. Sorry, I got stuck and lost. What I miss? What I what what? What am I? Fuck! Why am I lost? What the fuck? Next month's the eighth the eighth month of the year, right? Next month. few days right or a day or two what is it three days two days right all right cool because they're already bugging me that I'm at 50 gigabytes of fucking mess of, of data used that my shit's gonna slow down That's weird, because the other day I got a data warning of... I got a fucking big-ass data warning. Like a hundred gigabyte data warning. What? USB charging cord what? Yeah, I have it on right now. I have it charging. I should probably get off the live and let this shit charge for a while in case I want to come back. Because right now I'm like stuck in the car because it's connected. So in case I see a cop or anything, I can't get off and go. I can't get off and go see that shit. I want to go see the fucking park on the other side of the park down at the end of the park because they're gonna go fucking chill over there and try to hide again so I can fucking scatter them like I did last time last time all I did was walk up and they fucking scattered yeah it will pink I was I was gonna check it out I will check it out I think someone just sent me a link to it too Why haven't we seen Sly, Sly Shy anymore, man? What's up with, who knows how to get a hold of Sly Shy, man? I wanna know what's going on. Why can't I, why don't I, why don't I see her in fucking chat anymore? My car may be growing legs. How? How will my car be growing legs? Carl, last time I seen her, I said hi to her, but she was in the. Uh, I was trying to troll delete laws. For Bao, you know, I was trying to piss Bao off. <laughs> like, you know, I was trying to get him to say something about Bao. So I was in the delete laws trying to troll the delete laws and uh, I said hi to Sly Shy and I didn't get an answer. I was like, what? Slushy didn't say hi to me. Yeah, but uh yeah, I'm a, I think I'm gonna cut this one again. Uh, any help would any help would definitely be appreciated. I want to thank everyone that has helped. Love you guys, man. You guys have kept me alive with the help. 
Hi Leslie so Sylvan. Thank you for being here. I was barely gonna leave, Leslie. You did, Margaret? What'd she say? Because I have, I have nothing against Lyshai, man. Becky's mad at her? That's them. I'm not mad at anyone. Once again, thank you for being here. I felt the love you guys give me for being here. Two hours of hearing me rant. Absolute nonsense. Thank you guys. <laughs> Bye. I'll watch your video, Pink. Right.